she don't like nobody. Yeah. I gotta keep her right beside me. Yeah. See, she could go wherever the wind blows, and I know I feel it still inside me. Yeah. My baby, she don't like nobody. Yeah. I gotta keep her right beside me. Yeah. See, she could go wherever the wind blows, and I know I feel it still inside me. Yeah. My baby, she don't like you. no one, no one, no one, no one, no one. When I'm working, I can't be sitting still You gon' tell me chill, cause you know a nigga be in the field I love you, take your time on me Cause you know I'm getting older Yeah I'm a soldier, you know that soldier Today guy. is a good day and you and me have a lot to talk about so I got the YouTube channel back, thank you, thank you, thank you. And also today I'm doing a what I code in a day. But before we actually get to coding, let's talk about the importance of planning out your tasks and how I plan my tasks. Do you know, planning out your tasks well is like 50% of the job because after you know what you need to do, it's way easier to go ahead and implement it. And I'm a very visual person myself, so for planning out my tasks, I like to use this tool called Miro, which is a visual workspace for planning out your projects and collaborating with teams of all sizes. And I actually used Miro in one of my previous videos when I was showcasing a project that I was working on at the time. And I've been using it at work for like a year now. And with Miro, I'm able to create these customizable boards where I'm able to plan out my tasks, bounce around ideas with my team members, or even visualize the overall architecture of a project. So for example, recently I was working on a new onboarding flow for our app, and we were easily able to plan out how the entire flow would work from start to finish, as well as put out many corner cases we had not even thought of before. You just can't think of of everything in your head so that's where the power of planning out your projects well really comes into play and it's gonna save you countless hours when developing. Also another great thing about planning out your projects with Miro is that it makes collaboration really easy. Whether you are part of a team full of seasoned developers or just taking a part at a hackathon with your friends, you and your team can all work on the same Miro board and bounce around ideas together. Some people think that software engineering is a lonely job, it really isn't. Collaboration is key when building something great and everybody needs to be on the same page. And whenever you need to explain your project to someone who's new to the team or a stakeholder, you can just show them the Miro board and they can instantly see how everything comes together and it's gonna save you a lot of unnecessary questions. So if you want to make plan out your projects or collaborating with teams easier, then make sure to check out Miro with my link in the description. And big shout out to Miro for supporting the channel and sponsoring the video. So today's gonna be a bit weird. I've basically completed all of my feature work for the sprint. I still have a couple of tickets in to do, so today I'll start working on those. I'm not sure how much of coding work those will actually be. But anyways, on this channel we don't fake it, so whatever I code today I will show you. But right now it's lunch time, so let me make some lunch and then let's start coding. I just hope they salute me like how we soldiers die. Hold your head up, been through a lot, but I'm holding mine. I can't even lie, you sound so funny, you've been on my mind. Give you all the finest things, all the diamonds and rings, spend it all this on me. I'm just waiting till the wait is over. Love my baby so much, I done made a fall. Baby, shit on like your body. Yeah. I gotta keep her right beside me. Yeah. See, she could go wherever the wind blows, and I know I feel it still inside me. My baby, she don't like nobody. Yeah. I gotta keep her right beside me. Yeah. So she could go wherever the wind blows, and I know I feel it still inside me. Yeah. My baby, she don't even like me. Sometimes she won't fight me. Fell in love with a Leo, with her attitude on Pisces. Nasty like a Scorpio. It's just more than likely when we ain't missionary. And this video didn't go as planned because I've written like. 10 lines of code or something today because with these dashboards I don't need to code anything basically all I'm doing is just visualizing data that we already have available to us but this is something that needed to be done with these dashboards we can easily see if the fraud cases start rising all of a sudden and then it's way easier to start debugging those issues because we know exactly when it started and that's the power of dashboards and good metrics for developers it makes debugging way easier when something goes wrong but also the business folks and stuff like that are super interested as well because from these metrics and dashboards we can easily see how successful a certain feature was and I don't know if this is the job of a software engineer or not but my title is full stack and here I've definitely been full stack like 
I joined what a year ago almost and I've been all over the place from front end to back end to infra and this stuff I don't know if this is like a data engineer or data analyst job yeah I've been doing everything which is good because every day I'm learning something new you know every day there's a moment where I'm like what the hell is going on and it's something completely new to me but as a developer it's important to keep learning at all times and if I wasn't learning so much at my job like if my growth had stalled then I'd definitely be coding more on my free time. Right now, I don't code much on my free time because I'm learning so much at my job. But if I wasn't, then I'd definitely code more because as an engineer, you need to keep your skills fresh and that's how you keep yourself valuable. You know, the industry is moving at like 100 miles per hour and you don't want to be left behind. And right now it's 3 p.m. So I still got like a couple of hours. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. My board is pretty much empty right now. But there's always some bugs in the backlog, so I think I'll pick one of those and also do some code reviews my teammates have asked me to do. And I think that's gonna be my day. All right, that's the work day done. Coding wise, wasn't the best. But overall productivity wise, pretty good I'd say. Got a lot of things done that needed to be done. Many of you saw my last video where I was talking about my second channel being terminated and how this channel might also get terminated. Now that situation is resolved, thank you to everyone who went to Twitter and retweeted the tweet. It got like 150 retweets, which was way more than I expected. So big, big, big love to you. And actually I gave away a keyboard to one of the retweeters, but the winner hasn't answered yet. And if they don't answer by the end of today, so Friday the 17th of May, then I will do the raffle again and post it on my Twitter. Yeah, I just wanted to give back to you since you did so much for me. Like I can't even put into words how much that meant to me. Like I was going actually crazy during the past few days when I thought that my channel might get taken down. So yeah, that was not a fun experience and I hope that I never have to deal with YouTube support again. And I unlisted the video talking about the situation because it's now resolved. I don't want to clickbait anyone right but if you're interested in what happened then i'll leave the link in the description for the video explaining what happened but to this day i still have no idea why my channel was terminated in the first place all youtube told me was that you broke terms of service but they never told me what terms i actually broke yeah i have no idea what's going on with youtube support and basically what happened is that one day after i posted the video the channel was magically back up there was no email from youtube or nothing explaining what had happened but yeah i'm just super grateful that everything is now solved and again thank you so much for writing for me like that was crazy to see i went to sleep that night then i woke up and i saw everybody tagging youtube and it, it just put the biggest smile on my face like thank you so much now look at this weather it's crazy summer is finally here so i need to get out of the house and look what i got I busted out the cleats for the first time in like, I don't know, like three years or something. So I'm gonna go play some football. I think most of you know, but I used to play football for like over a decade, well over a decade, ever since I was four years old. So now it's my time to shine and get some good cardio in as well as some sun.
That was awesome. I haven't played football in years. God damn, that brought back a lot of memories from my childhood. And as a kid, I always used to play football on that same exact pitch where I was. We need to do like a tech YouTuber charity football event or something like that. And also the weather is amazing right now. Like it's half past 10 p.m. right now and it's still kind of bright outside. This is what I've been waiting for. You saw in my videos, the winter was rough. So I'm definitely not taking this for granted. I'm gonna enjoy the summer and also create some banger videos for y'all. And right now I'm eating this, they call it a vitality bowl. I'm not gonna tell you what's in it right now because my next video will be what I eat in a day. So I'll include this in that video. But I've been eating this for like a month straight at this point. Whenever I'm craving something sweet, I just make a vitality bowl. But yeah, what a week it's been like. Crazy week. Post my YouTube channel, got it back, the sun came up, and now life, life is good. Thank you so much for writing out for me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.